Well, the winning numbers have been drawn for Tuesday night's record shattering Mega Millions jackpot. And folks, there was one winning ticket in Neptune Beach, Florida. For those not familiar where Neptune is, Neptune is in Northeast Florida in Jacksonville, Florida. If you missed the drawing, here are the winning numbers 13, 19, 20, 32, 33, and the Powerball was 14. The $1.58 billion jackpot exceeded the former record of $1.53 billion. That was won back in 2018. This jackpot has been growing for several months. And this morning, you may be wondering what your actual odds of winning were. Well, joining us to tell us what those odds were, uh, Frederi Viennes, a statistics professor from Rice University. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning, Frederi. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on, Zach. Hey, so before we get into this, I, I need to ask you, were you recently in Neptune Beach? Is it you that won this? No, I no. didn't win the jackpot. I know. You know, I think of this. I was talking with our with my producer Sam about this. You know, these are only numbers. How is it that we cannot think of these numbers? Uh, you know, so the, the interesting thing about these uh, these draws is that the uh, the um, odds of winning stay the same, but the jackpot keeps going up and up every time that somebody doesn't win. Uh, and so uh, it pays off to wait. So if you're not somebody who's wanting to play regularly, you have to right. wait until you, you, the jackpot gets larger, and that's going to increase your chances, not of chances of winning, but the chances of getting a better expected outcome. Okay. That, that's good yeah. perspective. Let me ask you this. Do people have an advantage on if they pick their own numbers compared to those who just play quick pick? Or is it quick no, draw? No, it's the same chance every time. Chance. Every time you play, you have a one chance in three about 300 million of winning that jackpot. Mm, okay, that's yeah. also good perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a lot. So if you since the wager is two dollars and you're going to win 1.58 billion this time around, uh, that means that you know your your expected winning is about 48 cents, and since it's costing two dollars, you can expect to lose about a dollar and 52 cents every time you play. So in the future. Uh, the things people can do statistically to improve their odds is perhaps, I guess, playing more when the jackpot becomes larger? Uh, so uh, you can improve your odds of winning by playing several times, but every time you play, you have to place that $2 wager, and so your expected losses are going to start to pile up. Right, yeah. But playing again and again does increase your odds of winning as long as you play a different number every time. Yeah. Very fascinating. Uh, comparing this to other um, lotteries or slot machines, where does this stack up? It's not, these are not very good odds. The uh, the uh, since you're winning 48 cents out of two dollars, it's really about a 40, 24, 25 or 26 uh, percent uh, payback. Whereas if you go to a casino and play on slots. Usually the payback is a lot closer to 90 or even 95 percent. And I was looking this up just before the show, and I mm -hmm. think that U.S. law requires that the payback on any given slot machine in any given casino has to be at least 87 percent. So we're talking 26 percent here uh, for the payback for this particular Powerball draw compared to at least 87 percent for a for a slot machine. And if you have a casino that advertises that they have loose slots, that probably means that they're expected payback is closer to 95%, much better deal. It's wild, it's it's also wild to me. Do you play? Pardon me, do I play? No, I don't play. My wife does play though, and she didn't win yesterday. She was not in Florida. <laughs> you know, I've been to this uh, Publix grocery store in Neptune Beach many a times. I used to live in Jacksonville. Um, so uh, I, I am I'm very proud of the, I'm very happy to hear someone uh, there locally won, um, always hoping that it's it's someone you know, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show this morning. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Yeah.